This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your X-Foil in Surf, Hybrid, Full Foil, and Sub configurations. Install the propeller protector arm. Locate three M4 by 14 mm screws, three M4 lock washers, and three M4 standard washers. Insert the lock washer in first, followed by the flat washer. Place the propeller protector arm on the shaft side of the motor. Align the holes as shown. Insert three screws and tighten with a 2.5 mm hex key. For extra protection, we recommend using removable thread lock, such as Loctite Blue 242. Apply the provided bearing grease on the shaft of the motor where the propeller slides into. Tighten the propeller with an M8 nut with nylon lock. Insert the propeller guard by sliding it into the propeller guard arm. Insert four M4 nuts with nylon lock into the arm. Insert four M4 by 10 millimeter screws and tighten with a 2.5 millimeter hex key. Insert the rubber seal on the mast's cup. Make sure that it is properly seated by gently tapping your finger along the entire perimeter of the seal. Insert three rubber terminal pin protectors inside the mast's cup. Gently rotate them into place until the terminal pins are all the way down. Position the three gold-plated motor male pins and align them with the female pins on the cup side and gently mate them together. Never force the pins to connect. This will cause damage to the female side. Once the motor is fully inserted, use two M5 by 55 millimeter screws, two M5 lock washers, and two M5 flat washers. Insert the lock washer in first, followed by the flat washer. For extra protection, we recommend using removable thread lock, such as Loctite Blue 242. Tighten firmly with the provided 4mm hex tool. Visually inspect the motor seal. The motor should be flush, making contact with the cup. Grab the motor and check that it is firmly installed with no wiggle or play with the cup. Surf configuration. Install the mast bullet cover. Insert three M3 nuts with nylon lock into the bullet side with the hex shape indentation. Install three M3 20 millimeter screws and hand tighten them into place. Install the surf mast bumper on the bottom of the mast. Install two M8 by 12 millimeter screws and tighten. Install the surf fins on the bottom side of the board and use a 3 32nd hex key to tighten the two screws per fin. Hybrid configuration. Follow the steps for surf configuration, but instead of installing the surfed rubber bumper, install the hybrid connector and hybrid mast. Install the fuselage with two M8 by 100 millimeter screws. For extra protection, we recommend using removable thread locks such as Loctite Blue 242. Place the wing on the fuselage and use three M8 by 25 millimeter screws to tighten. Place the tail on the fuselage and use two M8 by 20 millimeter screws and tighten. The surf fins are not necessary in the hybrid configuration. Full foil, half foil, and sub configuration. Install the mass bullet cover. Insert three M3 nuts with nylon lock into the bullet side with the hex shape indentation. Install three M3 by 20 millimeter screws and hand tighten them into place. Install the fuselage with two M8 by 45 millimeter screws. For extra protection, we recommend using removable thread lock such as Loctite Blue 242. Place the wing on the fuselage and use three M8 by 25 millimeter screws to tighten. Place the tail on the fuselage and use two M8 by 20 millimeter screws and tighten.
Install the provided thermal pads on the mast. Use a towel to press gently on the thermal pad to ensure that it does not fall out when the mast is upside down. Handle the thermal pad with care. Keep away from dust, sand, and oil. Replacement thermal pads are available at xfoil.com. Lay the board on its back. Make sure the chassis and the mast are clean and dry. Carefully align the three male pins with the three female pins on the chassis. Gently slide the assembly into place until it's all the way down. Install 4M8 by 12mm screws in a cross pattern and tighten in a cross pattern with the included 5mm hex tool. Tighten firmly. You're all set. Xfoil is now fully configured to start riding.